Hello. So the topic of this video is Prandtl's classical lifting line theory. So this is just a mathematical model of aerodynamics that predicts the lift distribution over a 3D beam. These are few key assumptions of Prandtl's classical lifting line theory, which includes steady and incompressible flow, two-dimensional flow, thin aerofoil ap approximation, small angle of attack. So from Bioserver's law, we can write v is equal to gamma by 4 pi h so here you can see there are two images one image is of one aerofoil and another is horseshoe vortex so this uh, is called horseshoe vortex vertice why we, because these are the free trailing vertices uh, this right side and this left side one these are called uh, free trailing vertices and this the line which connects to free vertices is called bound vertex line so in this image there is one airfoil which is replaced by bound vertex line so when one uh, vertex in a fluid passes it does not vanishes directly it creates small small vertices so it will create small small vertices as it come to middle but at the boundary at the bound vertex line these vertices will be have mohar magnitude so in this image you can see this uh, dotted square blocks are bigger at the middle and smaller at the edges and these are the vertices trailing vertices uh, for let's see for a single segment dv uh, is equal to minus d gamma by dz dz divided by 4 pi d naught minus g add up all these segments we get uh, let's assume uh, limit t is equal to minus b by 2 which is here and uh, q is equal to plus b by 2 which is here so ultimately v becomes minus 1 by 4 pi limit p to q d gamma dz dz whole divided by v minus z this represents downwash due to gamma that is strength distribution now let's find out wha what is the induced angle of attack we know that induced angle of attack is equal to tan inverse minus v by free stream velocity so we can say uh, for a smaller angle of attack this will be equal uh, uh, induced angle of attack can be equal to minus v by u infinity so here we got the induced angle of attack as 1 by upon 4 pi u infinity limit p to q d gamma dz whole divided by d naught minus g so induced angle of attack due to gamma is equal to alpha effective minus alpha minus alpha i from thin aerofoil theory we have one expression for lift slope that is dcl divided by d alpha is equal to 2 pi so from here the coefficient of lift will equal to 2 pi alpha effective minus alpha l is equal to 0 the alpha l is equal to 0 is the angle of attack at lift is equal to 0 from lift equation which is l dash is equal to half into rho v square b c l from kutta condition we can write it as rho free stream velocity into gamma after rearranging this equation we get c l is equal to 2 pi whole divided by uh, free stream velocity into area or span wing span which is denoted by b is equal to 2 pi whole divided by alpha effective minus uh, angle of attack at lift is equal to 0 so after solving as alpha effective tends to uh, that is it is a function of uh, f of gamma and alpha induced is also function of gamma we know that alpha is equal to alpha effective plus alpha i therefore Ultimately, alpha is equal to gamma divided by pi free stream velocity into wingspan plus alpha at lift is equal to 0 plus 1 fourth pi u uh, infinity and limit p to q d gamma by dz whole divided by z minus v. This is the fundamental equation of lifting line theory. In this equation, only one unknown is there, which is gamma, and other are function of z. So, lift distribution we know that uh, lift of z is equal to rho u infinity gamma of z so from this we can calculate the lift as rho 
u infinity p q and gamma of z dz industrial drag will be the di is equal to rho u infinity p to q gamma of z and alpha i dz thank you